Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can attach a sound to an object and make it get louder the closer you get to it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial that I upload to my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So generally, when we apply a sound to an object, it's usually just a case of applying, whether it be to the object here, over here in the hierarchy or over here on the inspector panel. So I have this radio here on this table and I do have a first person controller in here as well. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that sound onto there and just press play so we can basically hear it. So no matter where we are in our scene, we can still hear it. So to make this work properly, your um, audio source component may look like this. Uh, it may look like this, either way, However it looks, make sure we click on 3D sound settings right here. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is change the spatial blend from 2D to 3D. And already, if we press play, you'll hear that that has an impact in our scene. Barely hear the sound. However, if we get closer, we can hear it. So already, this is working. And this is known as the Doppler effect. So the way it works is we can see here we have a minimum distance and a maximum distance, i.e. the minimum distance that we will have to be there to hear it and the maximum distance that we need to be before we don't hear it anymore. Generally when using it, you can either use the logarithmic, sorry, can I get my words out there, logarithmic uh, roll-off or the linear roll-off. I like to use the linear roll-off because it just feels a little bit more kind of easy to use to begin with, but then as you get more confident with what you're doing, it's probably wise to change. You could always use custom if you wanted to. So the general idea is all about changing these minimum and maximum distances. If we press play now, we will hear it quite loud. Now, if you watch the component, the little graph that we've got on the very bottom right, you'll notice as I move closer, that pink vertical line will actually move. You see? That dictates where we are in relation to how much we can hear the sound. So this red line here is where and how we can hear the sound. So if we were to change our maximum distance to let's say 10, we can see a bit more theoretically zoomed in, we can see that in relation. So if we press play now, we'll be able to hear it. And you can see we're moving closer. However, if I move away, and get further away from it so i'm going to fall off so i'll get further and further away it's faded out now this the linear one will always reduce like that you can see it takes quite a while to change let's change it to 10. i did say 10 originally it's gone to 101 but either way it's still the same principle so at this point we can't actually hear anything but if we get closer we can start to hear it so this is where the logarithmic comes into effect because we can actually change this a little bit more. You can see these little key points here, what the volume actually is. And you can play around with these just by dragging them around. So if we change the max distance to let's say 25, you can see right there, we've already changed how we can actually hear this sound. So from here, it's quite faint, but as we get close, it gets really loud. So let's try that one out. So it's fairly faint. As we get closer, it'll suddenly get much louder. So we can see we've gone onto custom roll off here because I've been moving these right here. But if we change it back to logarithmic, it'll reset back to its original values. So like I say, maybe start with linear, test it out, and then change even a custom one and see how you can work with it but just remember that need the spatial blend needs to be 3d it needs to be 3d for all of this to work so that is it in its simplest terms that is how you actually get it working the proximity get louder the closer you get work with it and if you need any more you know leave a comment below and i'll see if i can get back to you uh, guys i hope that's helped and thank you very much for watching